In July of 1998, several women had the opportunity to witness the witnessing about the two witnesses. The widow of one of the witnesses, Jacob Hawkins, came to visit the house of Yahweh in Abilene, Texas. She sat with the other witness, Yisrael Hawkins, and these women, and she told the story of the fulfillment of the prophecy of the witness Jacob being forced by duress to call himself by another name. She told that they were actually threatening to throw her and her family off the train. And now, Luetta's story. What's so fascinating to me about Luetta's visit, we'd heard all these stories, but to hear the true prophecy and history of Jacob's name change from her, mm -hmm. someone that was there. Yeah. And then uh, another part that really had touched me was when Pastor helped Jacob to go to Israel because he wanted to preach over there the name of Yahweh. What she said about the train ride. I think that that was the most vivid story that she told besides the potato throwing thing. Uh, yeah, she was telling us about uh, J.G. having to change his name under duress. And the way she told that story, you could almost feel the frustration. It was, it was funny how she told it, because she told it with her body language. And she was explaining how they were sitting there and they, and they were coming up on a stop. And, and the conductor had come up and he was asking. Yeah, I remember when he, um, she said that when they were going through Germany, uh, going to um, Israel, passing through Germany, when the conductor was checking the tickets. And they, um, the conductor was coming out, getting ready for everyone, I guess, to, you know, get to the next place. And he looked at everyone's passport, and they saw the, um, that her husband had the, the name J G. And he said, "Well, what does that J G stand for?" And he said, "Well, that's just what it is. It's J G. Yeah, that's J G said that uh, that's my name. It was given to me when I was born. How um, he said his name is J G." and it wasn't accepted and he was getting upset to the point i remember she said they was going to take their luggage out of the off the train i gotta have a name are you getting off that he um uh, that he asked about, uh, did he check the tickets and then it was just his initial and they said oh, we can't now let you pass it's just an initial you have to give us a name and then i think he went back several times until the last time he said, I'm going to come back and if you don't have a name for me, I'm throwing you and your family off the train. And so, but the conductor said, this is not acceptable. We need a real name for you to enter into Israel. They were going to get kicked off the train. How devastating that must have been that somebody's threatening to throw you off the train, your whole family. They were rather in distress and, and they had a family and so she she didn't know what to do he didn't know what to do and then in, a, in a, a country that you know they weren't planning on staying in <laughs> so it was a scary thing I mean it must have been really scary finally the conductor came back and he goes okay what is it that he said it just call me Jacob well just call me Jacob and she had like another person stated that whole body gesture that's why he just said just call me Jacob just get, call me a call and he, she, she emphasized the stress there in her voice. You know, what do you have for me? And he said, I mean, like, just like, I don't know, just call me Jacob. <laughs> so, and of course, um, she reflected that in her storytelling. Um, and so, um, but that, and, and that was it. I mean, then they, they went on their way and got to go to Israel and the rest is history. But. That was the big uh, kind of uh, one of those places in that story. They weren't sure they were going to get there or not. So, because I remember, Pastor was so interested in how his brother responded. It wasn't this a casual thing. It's call me Jacob, and he had Luetta tell him that part over and over again. And this was the reaction to this story, how she told it. You know, it just like warmed your heart, though. I thought that was interesting, and I, I, that part I remember, because I was watching his response, mm -hmm. see him act like a child, you know, and that whole, tell me again what Jacob said, how he reacted, <laughs> it was like, it, it brought memories back to me.
Yeah, that's what happened to him and how his brother actually, you know, how he was when he was alive. I was a little story. I was a little story.